Hello everybody, I'm back with another part of Final Fantasy 1, and because I am a fucktard, all the audio got deleted, so... I'm having to re-record it. Again. Same thing that happened with Riviera Part 5, I think, or 6, somewhere around there. Um... So basically, I edited down the video, cut out all the random encounters, and we're back. So... Let's get going here. And these bats are gonna get in our way a lot. Kiki! Motherfuckers. Alrighty. This Let's Play, you might notice, is a little... cutted... apart. I started adding the, you know, let the screen tell you that there was a random encounter instead of just jumping around everywhere. So I've had like six or seven or eight or nine right now. You have no idea how much cutting out all the random encounters in. I fought some tarantulas and got poisoned. So, um, you have no idea how much... This part was originally 20, 25 minutes. Uh, it got cut down to about 15 without all the random encounters, and then I just decided to cut out the arduous trek out of the cave. Um, that was a door. I didn't. I wasn't sure if there was uh, anything in it, or if it was the way to the stairs, so I skipped it. And so now that we've found the stairs, we're going to back to... That's some counterpoint, by the way. Coral Sword, awesome. It's not better than what we got, though. I think it's good against like water. Get the fuck out of my way. I just love saying that. It's not as good as what we got, but um, we'll find that out later. I leave one encounter point in, and then there's two or three battles with new enemies that I leave in. Maybe four. Uh, Wraith, Wright, uh, Cockatrice, and some jellies, or whatever they are. Uh, check our equipment. It is not better. Real quick, um, that was an encounter point right in front of the door, I believe. Or I just randomly ran into an earth elemental, which is odd. Um, there were no nothing in the treasure chest, so um, another random encounter, another random encounter, another one. <laughs> I don't have no idea why I was going back up. I think it was lost again. Not surprising though, considering my track record. Um, the one plus about having a part with no audio is that you can cut out all of the random encounters and not interrupt like my flow. Here's the new one, uh, the green guy's rights. They're they're kind of douchicus. Not really though. They're, they're just stronger. Or I don't know if they're stronger versions of gas. I haven't checked their info yet, but um, we'll find out when I do and post the bio up. <laughs> I don't think they're much stronger than ghasts anyway. They do paralyze you, of course. Like all undead do, the motherfuckers. Um, this is one of four or five fights, including the mini boss that I leave in here. And yeah, there's a. You'll probably know already, there's a mini boss at the bottom of this dungeon, and he's a motherfucker of motherfuckers. Ah, uh, chest, there was no encounter point. And here's the. Orc. Orcur. Jelly. Whatever. Orange. It's orange jelly. They are not resistant to physical, as you can see, so they're just like random, regular monsters, only annoying. Uh, I'd estimate around 200, maybe 180 health-ish, or maybe less. Maybe 120, I don't know. Whatever, we'll find out. Like I said, I'll check the bio, stuff is... Uh, now we're traipsing around this fucking endless dungeon. I'm serious, 28 minutes of this. Or 24 or 5, I don't know, I remember. There's an encounter point. Or, I don't, I don't know if there's one right in front of the chest, but I always go to the side, or try to go to the side. Um, there's stuff in there. Get the fuck out of my way, you fucking bats. Don't key key at me. Fuck you, fuck you in your empty room. That's probably what I was saying. Maybe. And in Counterpoint right here, definitely. Earth Elemental. Like all, uh, like most of them, actually. Get the fuck out of my way. There's a lot of bats that get the fuck in my way. And they're pissing me off. Ah, here's the Wraiths. Um, not much to add. They can also, I think they can blind you, maybe. I don't know if they do here. If they can, it's annoying. Just like the shadowy people. Shadows from earlier. Just palette swapped and more health. Ah, uh, what can I add, insight-wise, insight-wise? Um, I've already 
gotten past the lich in my recording is my video production rate is uh slightly faster than my uh video upro upload but the upload rate and so uh, that's why I'm significantly farther than I am uh in the videos I think I've even already done the class change I did it a bit early uh but that's going to be some fun significantly editing cuz I get lost and I get lost a lot and I mean a fucking lot. Now I'm putting the potions that I keep buying to use. Uh, I use them all. Most of them. I use the rest of them later, but... Uh, then, we see, we got... Here's the end of the dungeon with the motherfucker vampire douche. He's the guy who left Melmond in... Uh, in that condition. The seal cannot be broken, so the earth shall rot! Yeah. This is the motherfucker that left Melmond in its condition. You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. Thank God he doesn't sparkle. And thank God he isn't hard either. All you have to do is like slam him with fire, dia. It all works on him. Just kill the fuck out of him. He's not hard. Really. It's, 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 I think it takes me like one round, maybe. Um, it's not super effective, but... Uh, he might paralyze you. He doesn't... Oh, he does! Motherfucker! And he regenerates a little bit, but not enough to... Um, to compensate for the damage you deal. Like I said. Even without fighter. Three people wailing on him. Took two rounds. <sighs> Easy. I don't know why he's the guardian that... I mean, I guess we're the only four warriors of light that are running around, but I, I think you could take that motherfucker down pretty easily. Oh, I cut, uh, I cut the rest of the trip back, except for two instances for treasure chests and for these motherfuckers who will stone you. They turn you into stone. The most annoying enemies in the entire game. Kill them as fast as you can. Ah, oh, man, and they ambushed me, too. That's the worst. Uh, they're flying, so I think they're weak to thunder. But either way, just kill them all as quickly as you can, because they will turn your party to stone without regret. They're douchebags, and I hate them all. So anyway, I'm going to cut the video again right after this battle, and we'll cut to a treasure chest right here. Um... And an encounter point, the only encounter point that I didn't leave out. As you can see, we've gotten quite strong, and now we're at Melmond! Wow, that was kind of choppy, I'm sorry. Uh, I t left this part in because we buy some equipment, and you know how much I'd love to let you guys see what equipment I buy. Um, I think the only thing I get is the knight's armor from, from the defense, or from the armor shop. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the only thing I get, because I've got double the amount I need. Oh, uh, you might want to start saving up your money now, because once you go and grab that airship after the Earth theme douche, uh, once you go grab the airship, uh, you can go to Gaia, and they have some shit that you want a lot, but it's really expensive. Anyway, I don't know why I left selling the stuff in, just just to pad now that I don't need to cut random encounters. Um, this video is more not very informative and not from my playing experiences, but more from an editing standpoint after the fact. Uh, anyway, I'll save up. Gone up two levels. Now, oh wow, that was a horrible edit. Uh, I might cut that. Uh, I like that. And that. <laughs> so, like I said, we're, ending, we're nearing the end of this video here. 20... 25 minutes of this. It wasn't fun. So anyway, I'm going to save before talking to this douche fucker. And then we'll go to the real deal cave demon thingy. Alright, peace guys.